All right, guys. So this is the question that uh, everyone's got something about, right? So this one is number hmm, oh number three on homework six. Let's try that again on on so on homework six, and so <clears throat> this one right here is a uh, differential gear like this is something you would find in your car essentially what that means is is that both of the sha uh, shafts so here and here operate they can operate independent of their of themselves depending on the, the direction of like turning uh, and that video that Pradeep posted in the chat explains it you know much more in detail than I'm going to right now because we're just focused on solving the problem but uh, if you want to learn more it's actually really cool so I would suggest checking it out so here uh, I've already done a little bit uh, I've done the uh, you know put the picture here I've drawn the table but I'll quickly go through how I got each one of these uh, but it's very similar to what you would have done so uh, first we have gear a so once again this is the same table we've always been making uh, gear a B C and D and you do the arm locked and so here W A R is the relative uh, velocity of A with respect to the arm. So we put that in here. Then we have B's connection with A, which is here. And you do driver over driven, which is N A over N B times W A R, right? And then B's connection with C, you do uh, driver over driven once again, which is B. Uh, over C and then A over B is the previous one right and then you multiply by the uh, WAR so this right here isn't that bad this is something that we've done before nothing has changed here and then the last one since the arm is locked we put a zero in there and then once again for gears locked it's the same as always WAR arm W arm is all in here and then the total so this is what we're looking for is W. So these two together is W A, W. These two together W B W C W D right. So this is how the first table should look. Now this is where this question gets a little hard because there's a very minute uh, detail that you have to get or else it doesn't work. So let's go ahead and write out the equations though. Uh, man, my handwriting's going to be bad. So I'm gonna try and make this as good as I can, but so let's try this. So so this is a. So a's equation looks like uh, w a r plus w arm is equal to w a. Which in effect is just that relationship that it's like W uh, W A minus W arm is W A R, right? So it's that relationship that we keep. Remember that one we keep inserting into that one equation to replace W uh, W A, yeah, replace W arm, I think, or no, replace W A A R. So this is the one we replace right here in those other equations. So that's nothing you haven't seen before. Then here, B, we have uh, N A over N B W A R plus W arm, right, is equal to W B, right? So that's another one we have to get. And then W C, I'm going to, I'm going to lower the thickness just a little bit. That's getting, so C we had NB over NC times NA over NB. Let me do uppercase. Wow. It's a big four headed B. Looks like the SpongeBob B. All right. B. And B. So as you can see, uh, oh, times W A R, and then plus W arm. 
And as you can see, these can go away. And so you're left with NA over NC times WAR plus WR. And then this right here is the important one. This is like a major one. So the major one is this. So we have zero plus W arm is equal to W D. Which means that W arm is equal to W D, right? Because, well, in this case, you know, remember the arm is this. So that makes sense, right? Now here, that right there, that relationship is the whole basis of how you do the next part of the question. That part had to have been written out. And so uh, we are going to move further with that. And so there's a reason. So this right here is very important. And the reason why it's important is because we can now replace WD in these, or we can replace WD in this equation, or we can replace W arm for WD, right? It's a substitution, a direct substitution, no other equation, direct. And so this is important because our goal is to, once again, we want to relate this input and this input in turn, or in the equation for D, so we can relate it to the output E, right? And now, okay, so the problem with this question is, is that it's kind of worded dumb because in an actual differential gear system, the outputs, uh, so the input, so it depends on where you're looking, it changes. So what's funny is, is that uh, the drive is turning this up here, right? So this right here is being, this is a driving gear in a differential. It's turning, you know, it's turning the big ring gear here. But what's another thing is is that this is also driving is a and c are also driving because they are attached to the actual wheels and the wheels are driving their part of their turn in the shaft so it's really this is like a really weird question uh but we can't look at all of them as inputs because we have to find some sort of output right so we're 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 talking about these two as inputs and these two, or this is input, this is input. And so our goal, once again, for all these questions is to find an output in terms of the inputs. And to do that, we have to bridge this gap of, you know, D. We have to get D in terms of A and C and get it into an equation for E, right? So let's go ahead and take this equation. So this is the one we're going to use. We're going to use C here, right? Going to use C. So... C's equation, as I said before, is in A over NC uh, times WAR, right? But we're going to replace that. We're going to use that substitution we had earlier, which is WA minus W arm, which is <clears throat> WD, right? So we're going to go ahead and put WD in there. Plus, and it was W arm again, right? So therefore, we now have another WD in the question, or in the equation. And this equals uh, WC. So now, can you see where this is going? So where it's going from here is, is that we now have to find, using this equation, we have to find an equation that says, basically, WD equals, and then a bunch of other stuff, right? Because now we have found an equation for the velocity of... WD or the gear D and if we find the equation for velocity of gear D if we know the equation for gear E which is pretty straightforward right we're just connecting right here so therefore it's probably uh, I'm gonna assume it's negative in D over N E times W D, right? So therefore, if we have now, if we can use that, uh, you know, algebra here, if we can use algebra here and separate and get WD by itself, we can then plug it straight into here. And remember, since WD is by itself, we now have an equation for WD in terms of C, A, gear teeth A, gear teeth C, and just input. So essentially it would be input of WC, input of WA, which we know, gear teeth A, gear teeth C, and WD would be equal to that. So therefore, if we plug that in here, we now have an equation, once again, of all of those inputs in gear teeth in respect, or in terms of, uh, 
are just uh, in terms we already know. So we know the gear teeth, we know the inputs, and if you multiply it in here, you have once again gear teeth input, gear teeth, right? And if you multiply it, you'll get an equation that tells you the output E. So remember, this is all equal to WE. It'll be the output of E in terms of all of those inputs and all the gear teeth, which is what we are looking for from the start. Uh, and this algebra, uh, I think, is so in the solution manual, it was wrong, I believe, because I actually went and did it and I realized that. Uh, there is no way you could get the answer he gets. So uh, <clears throat> just be very careful with your algebra. Uh, I'll, I'll do the first step for you, uh, but just be very careful because if you do that wrong, uh, you can get something pretty weird. So we're going to just go ahead and do the first step. So the first step is in A over NC times WA minus NA over NC times WD plus WD equals WC. So now, uh, what you could do here is uh, you could get common denominators, but I'm going to do that later. I would just get all the WDs to one side. And so what you do there is, uh, oh, wait, this should be a negative. Yeah, because uh, this top one uh, was a negative. One of these was my fault so then this one actually the first one is negative and this one's positive i forgot to put that in there so then what you do is essentially we want to get all wds by themselves so if you just you know move this to the other side you now have plus n a over n c times w a right and i'll go ahead and erase that over there so it follows along Right, so now we have all of the WDs by themselves, and we have all the other terms by themselves. So then from here on, it is just strictly maneuvering uh, equation. So from here, what I would do is uh, get like uh, common denominators. So multiply here, multiply here, get common denominators of NC, right? So I'm gonna move up here and do that I guess real quick that is as far as I'll take you though so common denominators of NC where is my piece of paper that has this written down give me a second <sighs> got it all right cool so uh, so we have W I'm gonna switch sides of the equation because I have it written like that here so WC plus N A over N C W A, right, is equal to uh, N A over N C W D plus W D, if I recall is the right one, let me be sure. Let me go back down real quick. Yep, so NA over NC WD plus WD equals WC NA NC WA. So let's go back up. So this right here is what we're working with right here. Now if you get like their common denominators, you just multiply by NC over here. You're multiplying by one essentially. So you have NC WC plus NA W A divided by N C, right? So essentially you just multiply this over here, you get N C over N C or N C W C over N C plus N A W A over N C, which is the same as we had before. And this didn't change the equation, once again, just because you're multiplying by one essentially, because N C over N C is one. Alright. And then over here, you do very something similar. You get an A over, or yeah, I'll do that in a second. Plus NC WD over NC, right? Because once again, you multiply this over, you now have that. So it didn't change much anyway. 
And then from here, this is where I will leave you. So from here, you just have to find a way to get WD equals something. So the equation should be WD equals some form of all these numbers. Now from here, uh, it's pretty obvious, at least uh, it should be, that you should probably factor something out here because <laughs> uh, you have a WD here and a WD here. So factor it out. Therefore, now you have DWD uh, into something else, right? And you can just divide it over. And that is your final equation. So once you do that, you have found the equation for WD. And then as I said before, you plug that in here and now you have an equation for WE, which is one of the answers to the uh, question. Uh, and then the kinematic coefficient, remember that's just the coefficient of the, uh, that's just the coefficient of the uh, input essentially. So it's whatever's in front of the input numbers. Uh, I hope that helped a little bit. If you have any more questions, uh, we can probably talk about it. But if I made a mistake here, let me know. I, I might have, but we'll see. All right, see you.